the episode begins with the colossal getting up slowly, he's slow because he just woke up. Bro, what fucking ugly CG, he looks like a PS1 boss. He throws pieces of houses at other houses, so he'll make houses twice as strong. The Aren Titan looks like a half-elf half you at 13. Have you noticed that the colossal's arms are disproportionate to his body? Armin is desperate and hasn't any idea, so he asks Jean to take charge. How desperate a person's heart must be for him to let Jean take the lead. Look at this colossally delicious ass, willing to have a bite. By the way, even Jean knows he doesn't suit as a leader, it's important for a man to recognize when he's a brainless loser. I hope the main character appears after this opening, I mean the main character with a fanbase. Here he is, the favorite short king of all ladies. They're aligned as if they are at an anonymous alcoholics meeting. Hello, my name is Beast Titan. Hello Beast, Beast Titan. Titan. Levi is giving commands to this squad, they go ahead cause Beast still needs to warm up a little bit, so he looks back like a goofball. Suddenly a small meteorite passes very close to Levi's face. Few people have a chance to watch a meteor shower this close, consider yourself lucky, Levi. While houses are destroyed a cloud of red dust rises up, which means the soil is fertile. Here he is, bowling with boulders, the houses are the pins and the scores are human lives. Look at this big ass hand, that's not a palm, it's a fucking tectonic plate. I don't like to speak unnecessary profanity, but looks like this aberrance was genetically designed to be a cocksucker. Let's go to round 2, he gets ready to shoot and, my gosh, is he doing this sexy pose on purpose, or is it just my impression? Erwin yells some useless shit, there are soldiers even covering their ears to keep from listening to him. Here comes another rock storm, what a damn small head. Why the hell is these people on top of those buildings if they can see beasts stoning the place? That's the cloud of red dust I was referring to, it's a great place to plant coffee. These horses move in a weird way, it's almost as if they're made of rubber. I don't know what's this guy seeing, but it must be quite impressive. Levi arrives, he's pissed off already, I wonder if he likes to live life like this. The bell rang, it's recess time kids. The boy right here wants to choose euthanasia, but as a 152 centimeters alpha male, Levi doesn't let him do that. Levi and Erwin discuss which plan they're gonna use to defeat Beast, preferably one that kills as many recruits as possible, and causes the greatest reachable collateral damage in the survivor's psychological condition. These lined up titans looks like they're going to fall into an ultra hardcore domino. I like how their expression doesn't even change even though there are people in agony some steps away. Meanwhile, Colossal is still on his walk to the wall, the forecast is he'll reach it next Friday at best. Aren tries to grab his attention, but like us, Colossal is more interested in watching Levi. Aren runs towards him without a plan in mind, cause the last person he saw following a plan lost his arm, and not just any arm, the arm for jerk off. Aren hugs Colossal's foot, he wants to know how much he sells a pack of its picks for. It seems Colossal goes to the gym just to work out his legs and don't do a thing with his arms. Looking from here, Colossal looks like a buff guy who had his chest and face scalped by hot asphalt due to a motorcycle accident. Even Aren's friends know that's a fucking protagonism. Fucking shit, looks like the motorcycle accident was worse than I thought. Colossal does the obvious and trains free kick using Aren, at the top of the wall, what a shot. Now Colossal looks like a guy who takes nudism too seriously. Bertolt's kick leaves Aren speechless. Haha, <laughs> no penis. Erwin is scared of Aren's situation, but Levi clearly doesn't give a shit. Colossal ugly as f Colossal cool as f it's terrific how 1D makes a difference, and I'm not referring to his penis. Beautiful smile my boy. Let's leave the suicide squad aside and focus on what's written in the video title. Let's go back to the monkey with six pack and pop belly at the same time. He causes big destruction easily. Looking on the bright side, the real estate market in Attack on Titan is always on fire. Civil engineering is a pretty popular school in this universe. Erwin asks Levi to point to a loser, he does it. The bull haircut man gets angry cause this recruit let a horse escape. From my point of view he literally saved that horse's life. Poor kid, he seems to be experiencing a terrible headache. Levi and Erwin talk about trivial things like sport, religion, and politics, they accepted death already, so kinda nothing matters anymore. So Erwin has one of his failsafe plans, as usual, several lives need to be eliminated for it to work. Erwin sits down, today is a tiring day for him. He looks at his left hand with a melancholy face, as I told you, he's right-handed. Levi tries to reason by saying it makes it feels like someone else, but Erwin's relationship and his right arm were bigger than just a dopamine injection. Several ghosts appear around Erwin, I hope none of them are seeking revenge for Erwin's stupid plans. I know this girl, she's that one who people cares cause she's a cute girl, yeah, I know you watch Giguk too. How I feel when my best friend tells me another guy sucked his dick, I kinda regret to have abandoned civil engineering. Anyway, it's time to start the plan. A straight attack by the cavalry, why do they have that fear expression, fucking pussies. They shoot green flares, for those those who don't know, green symbolizes weed, or did you think this gorilla has red eyes for another reason? Erwin's speech says what everyone does in life is to fuck someone, even the girls. Blood donation, giving soup to homeless, adopt animals, that's all bullshit is an attempt to fuck somebody. So at least once in your life, don't be a horny trash ass. Moved by emotion, recruits accept the suicide plan. It's time for Levi to take action. He starts knocking down this femboy titan, and the paunchy shy over there will be the next one. Then the episode ends, wait what? Apparently, I downloaded the wrong episode. Anyway, the next episode begins with a stoned and angry monkey face. This is the guy who becomes beast. He's pissed cause he stepped on a Lego piece. Actually, he stepped on a building, but for him, it's equivalent to stepping on a Lego. What ugly fucking fingers, cut those nails. More pitcher pose, more green smoke, slow motion to make it cool. Even about to die the bull haircut man does things wanting to fuck someone. Oh shit. 
Well, at least he has two eyes, positive thinking always. I think Beast's dad has hairy shoulders and his mom has a bald back. The last time I saw a chubby boy this desperate I was still in high school, and coincidentally he also had a gun in his hand. Beast Titan is showing off a plurality of facial expressions. Bro, look at this guy's mouth, he's as capable of devouring a human as a titan. After a horse stroganoff with leather clothes, Beast finally realizes his alcoholic anonymous fellows are taking a nap. When he least expects it, Levi emerges from the smoke. Beast tries to catch Levi, but he has arm removal surgery in record time. Beast's life passes before his eyes. You lost an arm but gained several forearms. Levi focuses on the neck hairier than Tom Hanks. He protects the neck, but he's not as lucky as this guy. Levi is in the zone. He goes down the Beast's manly back and cuts off his Achilles tendon. Lifting down, Beast falls faster than the Venezuelan currency worth. Levi's eyes can only see red, literally. Like a good former butcher, Levi turns Beast's hand into minced meat. Beast asks Levi to cut the hair on his back, but not too short. Motherfucker. I told you the hair on my back, not my both fucking arms. Levi puts the blade in his mouth to him find out if steel tastes like sugar. You didn't see it, but Levi put his dick on that blade a few moments ago only for the lulls. Unintentionally he ends up piercing the boy a little, but who never made mistakes right. Out of nowhere, Levi starts thinking about a syringe. Unfortunately it's true, our hero is addicted to heroin. Suddenly Duckface Titan appears and takes the blonde guy away. But he's still almost dead and without two arms. Moral of the story, don't do weed like Beast, do heroin like Levi. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe, I'd like to ask you to watch at least two videos of the channel in a row because it helps me a lot, also make a friend watch this video too, use violence if necessary, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, bye.